What is up guys, Andy Forestine running here and welcome to the second race vlog of 2020. Yes, today is the day of the Gloucester 20 mile road race. A bit of a different race, not the anticipated Forestine spring half marathon, but we are jumping into this race for a few reasons. With that, I will discuss in a video later next week. The main reason is inevitably there will be a new government law next week banning any mass events with over 500 participants, which ultimately means the Forestine spring half marathon will not go ahead and although I have not been downbeat about any of these race cancellations that are going on at the moment I did kind of feel that with the opportunity to jump into Gloucester today it kind of sits perfectly with the training I've been doing I've been doing 50 plus mile weeks and the last couple of weeks since my beautiful baby boy has been born we've done lower weeks so it kind of feels like a bit of a two-week taper so today although we've been training for a half marathon we're going to go out there we're going to have some fun we're going to run strong we're going to run in this rainy and miserable, horrible weather. Hopefully, I can deal with rain. Hopefully, there will be minimal wind when we get out there. It's a three-loop course. We did it last year. We did really well. So hopefully we will do well again this year. So I'm going to take you on the journey. The camera is indeed coming with us. There will be me, there will be Lee, there will be Corey racing. So the dream team are back together again. Should be good fun, should be a good laugh. Let's get going. Flies, carbonets, paper flies. Here we go, warm up done. We are about to smash Gloucester 20. Look at the crowd. Here we go. <laughs> So there we go, back in the car, got changed, about to have a bit of an aftershake. There we go, Gloucester 20, there's the medal, done and dusted. Unbelievable, 202.52. I genuinely am I'm gobsmacked, I don't know where the heck that came from. I had one of those moments again, I was running with Lee and Corey, and the first lap, and I just said to Lee at mile four, this is suicide pace. And this is, it was just a flashback to the Gloucester half. It was kind of like, wow, can we hold this sort of pace? And inevitably we did. I don't know what happened. I don't know how it happened, but let me give you a quick run through. But once again, thank you for all the support along the spring half marathon training series. That training series, along with the video that I recorded back before that, that said why I'm going to prioritize my long runs 
And the reason that I'm prioritising my long runs is so I could jump into races like this and do performances like this. I'm genuinely gobsmacked. That is over a six minute PB. And next percents, who needs them? Hoka Oni Oni, Carbon X. What a shoe. That was just a brilliant ride. For anyone that has asked me, would I run a marathon in them? Yes, without a shadow of a doubt. Those 20 miles were bliss. My feet feel amazing. So what happened in the race? Well, we went off and uh, we started off as a three loop course for those of you who missed the video last year. And it is kind of like uh, three, three gradual miles up with a couple of steep, uh, short steep hills and then cruise three back down around to the loop so you know in the first three miles it's going to be tough and the second three you can kind of take a breather and go again so we set off me lee and corey all ran the first loop really strong uh obviously as i said we were clocking 616s on some of the up and 606s on some of the flatter ones and then 552s on the downs i just looked at each other and was like oh my goodness what on earth is going on this is absolutely insane but we stuck at it there was a group of us, probably about eight. There was a good pack of eight, which was fantastic. I was the sucker who led the pack for quite a way. Ended up there being about, as I said, eight or 10 in the pack. I can't remember how they were. And in the end, I came third out of all of the pack that we were running with. Um, it was nice at the end to, to finish with the three of them that we were all sort of pushing the pace at the time. And I said to Lee and Corey, as the pack started to split up and drop off, probably at the mile eight on the second loop, I just said to them, don't ever lead a pack you use so much energy leading a pack it's such a hard job to do um i just kind of had this mental pressure of am i going fast enough for the pack uh, and i know it's a really stupid thing to say because you're meant to be running your own race but when you've got eight or nine people following you you do kind of have that pressure and anyway we were yo-yoing a little bit in the pack as i said we got the first loop done started to go around the second loop and got the first three miles uh, done got the the two short steep hills done and we peaked at the top of the second steep hill as we were cruising down on those last two miles i started to notice that the pack was disintegrating quite a bit and i was kind of on my own i had um, a couple of people in front of me from seven ac athletic club uh, another chap from worcester ac who i ran with for a lot of the race in the third loop and lee and corey were just sat behind me about 10 meters back nothing major i kept turning around thinking you know uh, am, am i just being a bit of an idiot pushing on here are they going to catch me up i really wasn't sure what was going on anyway we came round to the finish of the second loop i turned around as we were crossing and starting the third loop lee was about 20 meters behind me corey was just behind him again and i thought to myself we actually have broken up as a pack here this is like it's as if I'd made a move, but I hadn't intentionally made a move. It was one of those moments where I just realised that I was running my own race and we'd run really well together, but I just felt like, I guess, thinking in my mind, this is the last race that was going to be around for a while. I wanted to, to go for it and see what happened. And I was breathing pretty hard at the start of the third lap i thought gosh i've gone through 14 miles six miles to go i was working i was working i was running with a worcester ac chap who was brilliant we ran together for a lot of the race uh, a lot of the third loop he kicked on at the end in the last mile and finished super strong um, but we ran the third loop pretty much together for the first three miles uh, ground out the heels together I was sort of muttering words of encouragement. He was as well. Then a 7AC chap came up behind us. At this point, out of that group of 10, there was just us three left. The rest had sort of fallen off the back. Um, and I thought to myself, actually, you know, I know I led the group for a bit and had worked super hard, but uh, I still kind of felt like I had enough energy to finish quite strong. Anyway, the 7AC chap, we got to the top of that second steep, uh, short steep hill with the couple of miles left downhill to go around mile 18. And he put his foot down and fair play to him. If you're watching this, mate, I don't know if you do watch the videos, but if you're, what, what a finish, absolutely incredible. And then the Worcester chap we, I ran with into about mile 19 and then he kicked on and I just hung on for dear life. I knew that I was on for something really special and I just thought to myself don't blow it now just keep in control keep working hard keep the cadence up keep the mile splits and at that point on loop one and two on those miles I was clocking around sort of late fives I think I clocked to 607 so I knew the pace had dropped about 10 seconds a mile but I thought I just don't care at this point I don't care I just want to finish and we finished in 202 52 which I believe is a new Forrester Dean Athletic Club record i think i need to check but i think it is lee then finished in 203 30 something and corey 204 so all us three finished sub 205 for 20 miles which is just 
teamwork makes the dream work boys and girls so i am going to go home have a bath eat a load of food have a cuddle with my baby boy and uh yeah just thank you all once again for supporting for following along the journey and supporting me on the training series as well I just can't thank you enough. So that's it for today, guys. If you raced today, I hope it went well. If you didn't in your training and your marathons have been cancelled, keep training, keep the grind up. It's all worth it. When we get back to racing, we will smash those PBs. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. And as always, I will see you on the next one. Until then.